Hey guys, it's Krista aka Bahamanista and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about Carnival Essentials because your girl is getting ready to go to Trinidad Carnival and it's time to start packing. Like I literally have less than a month to go. So if you're watching this, hopefully it can help with Trinidad Carnival planning, but I'm also hoping that it can help with any other carnival that you plan to attend. I actually listed all my Carnival Essentials on my blog. So I will link that in the description box below if you need like a master list of things to re refer to. But so first thing that I absolutely feel like that's absolutely necessary, especially if you're traveling to any international destination is to make sure that you have your travel documents in tow. So that could be in passport, green card, driver's license, or any sort of identification that you need to carry with you. I think what's really important is making sure you have copies of your passport, identification, green card, whatever the case may be. If you can, get digital copies, upload them to a Google Drive, or print out physical copies just in case something happens. Think about all your itinerary stuff, your receipts. I feel like you should have like digital copies somewhere, whether it's on in a Google Drive where you can easily access it via phone, or make sure you have them in paper form because if you think about it, Carnival only happens once a year in its respective country, typically. <laughs> and you know, it's just one of those high energy, fast paced trips that you just don't want to miss anything. Naturally, I travel with my toiletries, but I think the most important things right now for me are just making sure that I have a lot of travel size products that I can potentially take with me on the road if I need to. And just stuff that's easy to use and quick to use. So facial products, I definitely am obsessed with the black this black owned business, Bolden Skin Care. They sent me this in PR actually, the Skin Basics Kit. And it's a three step facial routine. It comes with a cleanser, a toner, and a moist a brightening moisturizer with vitamin C and SPF. It's travel size, it's enough product. I personally think for a week. My favorite sunscreen products are Neutrogena. I use 45 SPF, I use the facial Neutrogena as well. For body, I love using the Aveeno because it has SPF included and it's lotion, it's lightweight, it's not too heavy on my skin because it's gonna be hot and it moisturizes very good. I think in addition to this, I might use like a Palmer's oil to, you know, just kind of moisturize my skin. Fenty sunscreen. Fenty skin. I just love the smell of it. I like the little bit of fragrance. Other things that I take with me are Axe body spray, especially for fats and to take with me on the road. Wipes, feminine wipes, because those are necessary. Vaseline, baby oil, obviously bring medication that you need. If you do have allergies. I absolutely recommend getting a medical ID bracelet or medical identification, whether it's a necklace, bracelet, or a little card. One thing I did forget to mention was make it sh making sure you write down a list of emergency contacts. Um, whether in your, you're in a group, going solo, whatever, just make sure you have it, like a small list to take with you to FET if you're out and about on an excursion or if you're on the road for carnival. A good friend of mine actually had that tip when we did a live on Instagram about um, things they take with them on the road. And she said, writing it down on a little piece of paper, stick it in your bra, in your shoe and just somewhere safe where you won't lose it. I think another thing to remember too is just energy wise, making sure you bring your vitamin. I take this Super B Complex from Nature's Bounty, <laughs> which has really been helpful. I also make sure to take my iron pills as well, just because after FEP and after the road, you're gonna be extremely tired and with back-to-back -back parties and events, it's gonna be extremely tired. I like to bring a bottle of darker foundation just because I already know that I'm gonna get darker and I don't wanna look ashy. <laughs> and I got this from House Labs. This is the 530 foundation. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. It is definitely darker than the foundation that I'm wearing right now. So I know for sure that once my skin color changes, I'm gonna start using this. Now let's talk about carnival specific stuff that I absolutely have to take with me. For the road, you obviously gonna have your costume if you're playing mass, but this can also apply to people who are just maybe going to spectate or, you know, storm. As a woman or someone wearing a costume, I absolutely need carnival stockings to go with my costume. And these are from Carnivalista, my favorite place to get carnival stockings. I am actually a Carnivalista ambassador rep 
whatever you guys want to call it. My favorite stockings are the Truffle Fishnet Naked Style. Matches my skin perfectly, like to a T. There's also a, a bunch of different styles, but this is like my absolute favorite no matter what I'm wearing. Um, sometimes I'll wear the Gliss has a little bit of a rhinestone style to it. I actually just got a little PR package from Carnivalista, so I'll show you guys what else. I wear pasties under my wire bra, bras, whatever the case may be. Carnivalista has skin tone pasties, but they also came out with these new colored um, pasties as well in different shapes and colors. So I will definitely be utilizing some of these because they are so cute. Some other goodies that I got in my PR package are the Flex thigh lit bag from Carnivalista and these are basically thigh pouches that you can strap to your leg. They have straps that go around your leg and you they have like two compartments on each side. They came out with some new colors like this silver and I have a gold one. It's really cute and it would also go with like a lot of different costumes. What I love about this one is it's skin tone. It's a bronze color. It matches me perfectly. I literally could wear this with anything and not even have to worry about matching a costume with my bag. So that's why I really enjoy it. It, it is on the pricier side but to think about it, I wear a lot of carnival costumes. So me paying XYZ amount of money for this is actually worth it in the end for me because I'm not buying a whole bunch of different bags and this is my go-to. And each year, I feel like they improve the product because this is last year's. I mean, they're about the same size, but um, I feel like this one is a little bit bigger. And then you can see the straps on this one are black. And this is, you know, skin tone colored. So I really appreciate that because... You know, a more seamless look um for any carnival accessories i mean they sell a lot of different ones they sell apparel they sell fishnets they sell regular stockings as well without the lines so check them out i will link on the lisa website in the description box below but you can also use my discount code behaminista2023 if you are interested in buying carnival accessories for the year costume essentials besides the stockings you know comfortable footwear of course i like to bring my glue gun and glue sticks just in case something goes wrong with my costume like if gems start to fall off or like the trim comes apart or like you know fabric coming off like this usually helps you could also buy e6000 glue i like to bring my sewing kit because sometimes i tend to sew my stockings to my costume bottoms just for a more seamless look just in case something goes wrong with the costume it has a bunch of colors in it, it can match whatever color to your costume it comes with scissors a thimble all of that stuff i think another important thing to probably pack is an extra pair of bottoms or extra pair of like the same, whatever body wear you have, if you have like orange body wear, maybe bring a bra or a, a panty that is the same color, just in case it doesn't fit, they don't have extras, or you need to change it for whatever reason. So I actually bought these Shein bottoms. They only come in a couple of colors, but they're in this high cut bikini cut style, and I really liked everything. It was like $6, so I'll actually, I'll link a few below. And just FYI, they're affiliate link, so if you purchase something, I get a commission with no extra charge to you. Thank you for your support. Appreciate it. Um, in terms of footwear, like obviously, you know, you want comfortable shoes, something with arch support, something that's not too flat. Some people wear boots, some people wear sneakers, some people wear heels. Definitely do like the gel soles, Dr. Scholl's inserts. Because either way, if you think about it, you can be on your feet so long, they gonna hurt either way, whether you're wearing sneakers, heels, whatever, boots your feet are gonna hurt. So just prepare yourself. <laughs> okay, some things I would absolutely take on the road with me is like a portable fan. You can also do like the handheld fans that like, you know, the old school fans. Snacks, because just in case you don't get fed on the day, you know, some trail mix and whatnot. My good friend Globy, she actually recommended this SPF spray for like to go over makeup. Probably should have gotten the exact fragrance but i got the cucumber one i don't really like the cucumber i mean it's okay it's not horribly smelling but the smell is definitely interesting but i'm gonna use it trying it out and so far i haven't broken out or anything so i really like it so far i think what's really important is to get those like mini perfumes so i have this mini um versace dylan perfume that i always wanted to try but saving those perfume samples is a good idea to put in your fanny pack or put in your pouch whatever because if you're stinking on the road this will help I, if you want to freshen up wipes 
are good for that as well. Let me take some wipes with you. I have to take a portable charger. I just have to. I'm a content creator. I just bought this one on Amazon. It's very slim and it has these ports because I broke my last portable charger. I try to keep my phone in this waterproof case, whether I'm going to Juve or Carnival. This, it cost me like 20 bucks. It's been the best investment ever. I've taken it to Juve. I've taken it on the road. It has not failed me yet. I've even put it underwater. Don't do that. You can get the ones for like eight bucks that have like the little ties around and you know, um, the little Ziploc kind of closure. I typically like taking my camera out sometimes. It's very small. It's a Sony um, ZV-1. Sometimes I just film with my phone in terms of like just getting content or pictures or videos and it slips right into my pouch. I would recommend bringing a GoPro or even a 360 which is also kind of waterproof. You can take vertical and horizontal video with it which is pretty cool. Those waterproof gadgets you can take with you to Juve. Other things that I like to take with me to Juve are like this backlog and basically I got this idea from Trini Tiffy and I wore this in Antigua for Juve just to cover my hair I know it, it still got wet but like the paint and powder with locks is definitely not a good idea so you can cover your hair with a t-shirt cap whatever you feel a hat whatever you want to or you don't have to cover it at all another thing I like to use for Juve are these scarves um, and this one is from Dirty Rubble from Miami Carnival and it covers up your mouth and your nose so paint and powder don't get in I mean obviously you're gonna be breathing in the powder and stuff like that and the particles and stuff like that it's only like one little piece of fabric here but it's still a good idea to have now for fets all that same stuff still applies i obviously don't take the carnivalista pouch um to fet with me depending on what kind of fet it is if it's an alternative juve or road or monday wear fet then yeah i'll wear it but if it's like a regular fet where i'm wearing like you know like a two-piece set or a romper or a jumpsuit or something like that then I would definitely uh, carry like a regular bag um, from makeup touch-ups. I definitely live for travel size anything, especially this Laura Mercier setting powder. Um, instead of pasties, I mean you can wear pasties if you want, but I like these nipple covers for a lot of my clothes, especially if it's like a crochet top or a shared something or you know just a dress that I don't want to wear a bra with. Miscellaneous stuff like for instance a garment bag to take your feathers home with you. There's also this girl on Instagram, she sells this bag called carnival capsule i think it was a really really ingenious idea and if you have a huge backpack then maybe go with that there's also a bag on amazon that doubles as a weekender and you can fold it out so it looks like a garment bag like a suit bag ziploc bags so putting your medication in ziploc bags vitamins all those different things if you need to take it with you and take it in a fat get on the road tums allergy medic medication you can put in a ziploc bag trash bags i love for juve just in case you don't you can't bring any dry clothes with you after juve to go and sit in the taxi cab one of my friends they are doing poncho which i thought was really cool because then you could just pack you could fold the poncho up put over your uh, wet juve clothes when you go in the van or the taxi or car or whoever without messing the people uh, people car up yeah i think that's about it all of these things can typically be used interchangeably on your trip um, during carnival. Some are specific to the road, some are specific to FETs, some are specific to Juve. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, share this. I will probably do a packing for Trinidad Carnival video. Um, I'm not the best pack packer, I'm a messy packer, so, but I just wanna show you guys like a real life situation where you're packing for Carnival and you no, know, I can definitely show you like stuff I'm gonna wear and whatnot. I think that would be a good video to share. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you wanna see. All right, thanks for watching you guys, bye.